Hey everybody, so it is Dave Mattis with Remax of Reading, and I am here today with another one of my business spotlight videos and we are back on the Zoom. So we are accepting our current fate, shall we say, in our current situation. And I have a great friend on here, Freddie Vasquez with uh, FXB Digital Design. How you doing, Freddie? What's up, my brother? Uh, same old, same old. Realtors got released into the wild to go sell houses. So we're, we're feeling good um, on our end. And I know you still are in uh, the, the quarantine situation with your business. But I figured it's a great way you know, for us to just have a chat and get it out there and just get a couple more eyeballs on your business as to uh, you know, to what you're doing and what you can do for people. So welcome. Yeah, man. Thank you, brother. I always appreciate you uh, asking me to talk about anything. Lord knows I can't shut up, man. So <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I can't shut you up. No, I I, no, I, I love it. Well, as you know, we were talking, you know, just before before we went live here, you know, you're a tremendous networker. Obviously, that's that's one of the facets of, of your business. Uh, but but before I we start to talk about get too deep into that, tell us tell us about FXV Digital Design. The design. Just give us the the, the rundown, and uh, and we'll we'll talk further about all the little different things that you do. Right on. Uh, FXV Digital Design, we're located in Wyoming, Pennsylvania. We're a digital marketing agency, and we give our clients the full gamut of marketing services. And I know it sounds cliche when people say we do everything, but we literally do everything. Uh, we've taken clients that have walked through our doors and they're like, hey, I have this idea for a business and this is what I want to call it. Um, or maybe it's even two names, which actually happened a few months ago. And we sat down with the client and we decided what the better name was for her, you know, together mm -hmm. as a team. We then went ahead and created her logo. And from there, when she approved that, we then started her website. And while that was being built, we got all of her social media ready as well with her new branding. Then when the website was done, we launched that and we started going into all her promotional materials, like business cards, t-shirts, and you know, glasses, pens, all the things that you build for any business. And uh, yeah. from there, we started doing Google AdWords and, and Facebook advertising to make sure that you know, everybody knew that she existed while the website was doing its work to get to the organic uh, results that she wanted utilizing the SEO, which is what we do as well. Right, and right. obviously that all encompasses graphic design, graphic design takes care of all that. And we even help our clients with print design. And we have a bunch of freelancers on staff. You know, we have other people we work with, such as uh, Joseph McCookie from Joseph Alexander Media. He's a great friend of ours. Don Carrick mm -hmm. from Studio 413. He's a great photographer. Uh, Elvis from VR360, who does virtual tours. Um, so we definitely just try to hit every little pinpoint of your business you know yeah. when it comes to marketing and as well as consulting we just started doing a lot of consulting recently and uh due to the pandemic you know people wanted to know what was what the right thing to do now right um, so we started to launch our consulting and we talked to a lot of clients and uh yeah man i mean that's that's pretty much it sounds like a lot it's definitely a mouthful <laughs> but uh you know we do it all yeah well it is i mean you pretty much in that well the interview's over now because you pretty much just gave us the whole gamut i mean honestly it's uh, that was soup to nuts i mean somebody walks through the door with just an inkling of an idea and you can help them as in in as deeply as they need to be helped or just help them with with, with one of those items so uh no i think it's fantastic and i've i've, I've seen your work and uh, you know again love uh, love what you do uh thank you the um so we had, we we did a, a business spotlight a video probably about uh, three years ago when you were first yeah. uh, on the scene. So that's another reason why I thought it would be a great idea to sort of reiterate, you know, what we're doing here, or what you're doing here, because you've come uh, so far. So you were working out of your house, and now you have this really cool location in uh, in Why Missing on uh, on Penn Avenue. So tell us a little bit about that process. That was awesome. <laughs> I. Uh attribute a lot of it to the friends I've made here through networking <clears throat> in Berks County. I mean, networking is so important. It's, it's not just about advertising and marketing. Like that stuff's important to any business. Don't get me wrong. You want people to know that you exist, mm -hmm. but people want to do business with people that are awesome. You know, awesome people, good people, people that have your back, loyal people, you know, people they can depend on. And networking allows you to meet those people uh, from any part of life. You know, it's just like, you know, I'm a realtor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a photographer. So you start to make friends with all these people. And what I come to find is that 
through networking, when I need certain things or certain you know, opportunities come my way, I depend on those people a lot mm-hmm. so I can achieve my goals. And for me, one of the major reasons why I even have the opportunity to be in this building is because of Russell Farbiars. <clears throat> and he's a very good friend of mine. Right, and, and local attorney I, Russell. Yeah, local attorney based out of Hamburg, and he has an office in this same building that we're okay, sitting, right. I'm sitting in right now. So he works out of here too. But it was literally, I got a text you know, from the last owner, Susie Ray, and uh, she was like, hey, you know, this is what we're offering and her partner. And I texted Russ. I'm like, Russ, what do you think? And he was like, well, let's go for it. You know, and from there, Russ introduced me to other people that were uh, part of the process. Um, my, uh, a good friend of mine, Sean Devine, he helped me out with the, with the listing. Uh, sorry, Dave, it's not personal, man. <laughs> this is my buddy. I got to spread the love, man. You know, so okay, I gave him a, yeah, I gave him a shot. And then, of course, Robin Reeve from Tompkins. Robin Reeve, let me tell you something. I met Robin through BCNA. Yeah. And she went to bat for me without going into crazy details. She literally went to bat for me and uh, made that whole thing happen with the loan. So you had Robin helping me out, Sean making sure everything was legit. We had Russell going to bat for me and telling me everything I had to do to purchase the building. I had Bob Connor come in from BCNA to make sure the, the building was in tip top shape. You know, and I had my amazing wife, who's my partner in the building, who also we did it together. It wasn't just me. It was a team effort. So all these people together, you know, helped me achieve one of my goals of owning a building for the business. And I attribute that all to networking and, you know, just being a good person, man, just being kind to people. Yeah. And those are things that happen when you're just cool. Just be cool, man. (laughs) You know, like that's all you got to do is just be a good person, you know, and things happen. Just be cool, man. You know, so that's well, that's the process. You know, it's yeah, just well, being cool and, and getting all these great people to, to help me out. Yeah, and I, I think as you're 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 going through it again, you you know, I want to stop on this person and talk about them. I want to stop on this person to talk, you know, about Robin and Russell and and you know your your friend Sean. I, I don't know Sean all, all that well, but but I think what it boils down to is is that your business is just all about relationships. So obviously somebody mm-hmm. comes to you and you know wants to uh, you know, utilize your services, you know, they're going to get the best of you because you realize that every last thing, probably the way that they came in to see you, you know, most likely was, you know, because of, uh, you know, relationships that you had. So, I mean, that's really pretty much what you just described, you know, so it's brilliant. Yeah, right on. So, so all of those pieces of the puzzle basically sort of led you to this building. It was uh, Su- Susie's old building or whatever. And, and then of course you have come in and transformed it to, uh, uh, to the FXV, uh, the FXV pad. It's a very cool building, you know, and it's a great Thank location you, for you. Look, is it thousand block of, of Penn Avenue or eleven hundred block? Nine hundred, nine hundred. Nine hundred block. block. Yeah. What, what's yeah. the address exactly? Nine twenty eight Penn Avenue. It's yeah. Got a nice blue sign out front with my head on it. Can't yeah. miss it. <laughs> a little crazy with that Mets blue, but that's you know that's a topic for another day. That's all right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, that's 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 what I grew up doing, man. Baseball and the Mets. I know you guys hate me for it, but no, hey. that's okay. We just I'm a Mets, Mets fan. That should be enough masochism for me, man. I don't, just, oh, you're a Mets fan. It's okay. Bro. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. that's right. You'll be okay. Hey, you look, join yeah. the club. I'm, you know, I'm all Philly. So, um, you know, what what are we gonna do? Yeah. Uh, so. Tell me, so we are in the middle of this uh, COVID-19 quarantine. I mean, we might as well just, you know, acknowledge it. Um, you have been a tremendous inspiration to a lot of people um, throughout this process with, with the, is it weekly videos or every, every other day? Is it, I'm, I'm not quite sure how often you're, you're doing it, but man. In the beginning, it was daily. Yeah. You know, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of daily videos because, I mean, you got online and it was just like doom and gloom, man. I was like, oh no, I was like, we got to stop this. And I just started doing daily videos just to to tell people it's going to be all right. You know, these are things that you can do to pass the time. These are things that you should be doing to take advantage of the time, which is, um, you know, the marketing, marketing is so natural for me. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. It's very weird. People love music. People love art. I love marketing. Don't ask me why. I don't get it. Fantastic. It's just what I'm into. And right away I was like, okay. You have a lot of time in your hands. This is the time to just do things that you've been putting off for ages. And that includes your business marketing. So every day, it wasn't just about 
you know, positivity and, you know, we're going to get through this together. But it was also like, you know what, take advantage of this time. Don't see it as a bad thing necessarily. You know, what can you do to get everything in right working order for your business so that when this finally passes, you're ready to go right. when this whole thing is over. And uh, that's just where it all stemmed from. And now it's becoming a thing where it's not every day uh, for me uh, because uh, honestly, just things have been happening while I've been doing these videos. People have just been calling me and asking for help. And, and uh, I've been, of course, obliging everybody. Um, so now it's just kind of staggering off also because I don't know if people want to see my face every day anymore, man. It's getting to the point where it's like, oh, it's this guy again. You know, what's he going to be talking about this time? Yeah. So I'm trying to just make sure it's more uh, quality over quantity at this point. Yeah. But it's been a great, uh, a great thing for me. Uh, I never, I started it not thinking things would happen. I was just doing it to honestly, to help people out, but to also keep me sane. Yeah. Um, to just, to just be like, yo man, just do something, do anything. Right. You know, so that was the main, I think the main reason, but it's definitely become this cool little thing I got going on, which, you know, I appreciate everybody who watches and yeah. comments and likes. Well, so you were, you were, you're now sort of calling it something. Is it called get your mind right? Yeah. I just started, I said, get your mind right one day yeah. in one of the videos. I was yeah. like, you know what? You got to get your mind right. And you got to do A, B, C, D. And then I was like, Oh, I kind of like that. And I just started yeah. doing it and doing it and doing it some more. And now i you know, increase the whole thing where, you know, I have a podcast now called Get Your Mind Right. You can look for it on Apple and Spotify and Google. And I put it on SoundCloud. And in the Very beginning, cool. I was just, just taking the audio out and just making it into a podcast version. Now these past couple episodes, I've actually sat down and recorded little podcast snippets. Um, and then I've done the video. Um, I've noticed that I need to maybe just prepare a little more right, uh, for right, the videos. Because right. I, I go in there, I'm like, um, um, and um, and um, and I'm like, oh, man, you sound like an um guy. Just like, what are you going to do? You know, so I'm trying to make it better. Uh, yeah. Podcasts are cool. Never had ones. So I was like, hey, this is a great time to learn something new, which is what everybody should be doing out there. Yep. Learn something new. Take advantage of the time, which is what I did. Gave a, uh, called up my buddy, Justin Shank. If you don't know who he is, gnmlive.com. Check it out. He's a top 10 podcaster. Uh, featured on, in Ink Mag, you know, so yeah. like he knows his stuff. So obviously, I called him, and uh, we had a good conversation. So, good uh, for you. yeah, man, I'm just just trying new things, you know. Just why not, you know? Yeah, why not? Oh, it's fantastic. So you have FXV Digital Design. So you'll help somebody with their marketing from soup to nuts, from the minute they walk in the door, whether they have something, uh, an idea started, or or just the the germination of an idea, uh, all the way through website SEO graphic design, print design, you name it. And then now you're morphing into, or say it, it, you're adding on the possibility of uh, you know, this Get Your Mind Right podcast, which all just stemmed from the fact that you were uh, trying to help people, you know, which is yeah. just, just fantastic. So that's reason enough to, you know, for people to want to come and uh, use you and check you out. So I think it's wonderful. Thanks, brother. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. No, my pleasure. I think, uh, honestly, Freddie, we could probably talk for another hour, but let's, let's try to, uh, treat it like it's a business spotlight video interview and, uh, tell me how people can uh, reach you at, you know, Facebook website, address, phone number, all that stuff. And we'll try to put some of the stuff in the, in the video when we post it. Great. Uh, pretty simple. FXVdigital.com. That's FXV Frank X-Ray Victor digital.com. That's our website. All of our contact info is on there, but if you feel like calling the office, it's, it's uh, 484-509-4285. And uh, yeah, just everything's on the website, you know, social media, all that good stuff. And just search for Get Your Mind Right, uh, right on Google, Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud. You'll see my beautiful little face. That's Come fantastic. Right and uh, that's, the one, that's the one to click on. Yeah, you can't miss it. Well, I will be uh, I will be checking out the podcast. I, I have not done that yet. So I actually didn't know that you had morphed into that entirely. So I'm really, really happy to hear that. So again, you know, proud to have you as a friend and, uh, you know, kudos to you for, uh, for the, you know, developing the business that you developed and the relationships that you're developed and that you're in the process of developing. And then of course, you know, moving on to the fact where you're literally just trying to, uh, uh, to help people. And I think it's going to, I think it's, paying off for you and it will continue to pay off. So thank you very much, thank Fred. You, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Uh, much love to you. Love you, brother. And love everything you do, man. Take care. Cheers. Yep. Talk to you soon.